Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to you all. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and New Year. And this is January, new year, new start, new decade. Um, I know it's been a while since I last talked to you. Um, I just really wanted to do a video tonight because I haven't seen you in so long. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. We're all busy around Christmas, seeing family members and uh, eating too much, drinking too much, all the usual. So um, I have some time tonight and I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you um, some guest purchases that I made recently. Um, one um, was, I think, uh, due to arrive, um, I thought it was after my last video, after the Carl Lagerfeld bag reveal video, I thought I was going to get this the next day on the Friday. I didn't. It came on the Monday, which was near Christmas, so I didn't get it till after Christmas. Um, and then another one um, was uh, ordered too close to Christmas and then I got it about a week or two ago. I can't remember, but they, they were um, about a week apart, I think, because I ordered them, I think, only a few days apart because when I, was, uh, when I saw them both, they were both in the sale. They were originally both £99 each and in the sale on the guest website which is still going on now i checked they are still both on as uh, in stock sorry on the guest eu website i'm not too sure about the american one if you want to check that out um but let me stop rambling and show you both they are the same style but in different bags and like i said they were half price so they were 47 pounds 50. so i basically saw it as oh i'm getting half off so i'm getting two bags for one had i bought the one so you know it's a good saving still, you know, half off for both. So the first one, I only just stopped using this. I moved into the other one because I was just really excited to try these styles. This one is the Guess uh, Box Satchel. And it reminds me so much of a Speedy Bee. Um, it, I just love, you guys know that I'm a big fan of the Louis Vuitton uh, Demi Air Graphite, which is for the men's collection, which is the grey. And this so reminded me of like the Mon Monogram um, style that um, Louis Vuitton does, of course, as well. And I love this little uh, key charm here. And um, just love, it was just so different. It's all fabric. And this did get caught in the rain on a really, really bad night. It did not stop raining and I was not driving that day. And I had to walk from the bus up to my house, which takes about 10, 10 or so minutes and this was completely drenched and i was devastated because i thought it would look terrible but it was fine it, because it's dark it really didn't um suffer that much just put it next to the radiator and it was all fine so uh, i've got my little light on so i'll turn it up full wax so you can see all the details so it's like a gunmetal hardware it looks silver i know with the light shining on it now but it is gunmetal um, it doesn't go, the stripe doesn't go all the way down. I love this, that it uh, does have a protective bottom and it has the feet. Uh, on the back, the stripe, is, the stripe isn't there on the back, but they've got an extra little pocket here and it's got two little zips here. So the only thing I noticed, and I did do some research, I checked all the photographs. I was like, oh, it's not like a Speedy B, which has the D-rings for the strap on the sides because then that makes it look so pretty. Um, you do have to put the strap on the little rivets of the handles which I usually hate because uh, it pulls one side of the handle up more than the other and it looks really wonky but I find these kind of like really stick up if you see they don't really fall down yet it might be because it's quite new but they are quite stiff like you have to really I don't want to push it down because I don't want to encourage it to go down but when I do have the handles on these actually stay up so it doesn't alter the look at all which i was really surprised at i was kind of like oh i'm gonna have to accept that that's what is going to happen with these handles so i was pleasantly surprised um let me see i think i have it stuffed that's why it looks really pretty at the minute because these are um these bags also as well are fabric um i will warn you now if you guys are interested in this it will not look as pretty as this when you put your things in it because it's fabric now the only thing that is good is that it does have a solid base kind of like faux leather here at the bottom but the sides do look very uh kind of wonky because it is fabric and it's not going to maintain this shape um it is going to go uh, it is meant to be a more relaxed bag so i've made my peace with that but i think it's just it was great I, it took me 
a long time to get out of this bag. But I got to that point, I think I've said in previous videos or I put it in a comment one time that um, you go through phases like, you guys know I love my crossbodies and I was buying more and more crossbodies. If you've noticed my last few videos have all been crossbodies and you get a little tired of the same style. So when I was like, got this and then I was like, because I just changed out of my replica Louis Vuitton uh, Speedy B in the Damier Ben. When I got my Karl Lagerfeld, then that was a crossbody, very large crossbody. I uh, love that bag. And then I got this, so I changed into this, and I was like, crossbody, crossbody, crossbody. So that's why I got the other one, which I will show you in just a second. I don't want to ramble on too much, but I have got this stuffed. And I'll show you this. I just love these bags because you can throw everything in it. They're such good work bags. I wouldn't really take this out for a night out, guys. It's too casual. But, you know, I spend a lot of time in work, as as you do yourselves, and you know you spend a lot of time, so you need a really good work bag to just throw all your stuff in it and not even worry about it. So, huge big opening, as is known in uh, Guess. They always have this little flap here, and then the two card, oh, sorry, the two card slots here, I just put, uh, I don't even know if I use these, but you can put anything in here. I always use the zip compartment for, as you can see, What's great about Guess is that they always have the same inside, so you know what you're dealing with, which is really good because then I'm like, I know exactly what I'm putting in this, and I, you know, because I've got so many. So you have the little Guess plate there, as they always come with, and the zip compartment there, and that's where I put my lipstick and headache medication and all that sort of thing. And then, of course, you can just go mad and throw all the contents in here. And... Oh, it is good. Maybe that is good. Keep it stuffed, guys, if you do buy this, because it's actually keeping its shape really well. But I was noticing it was all kind of going in there. But you just give it a pad or give it a shake, and it usually will just retain its normal shape. Um, and then here is the strap. The strap's brilliant, actually. It's a lot thicker and more sturdy than I thought it was going to be. Great adjustment. You can wear it comfortably, crossbody, no problem whatsoever. And it's, um, I don't know what these things are. Like... I don't know. The ones I'm used to, you know, they kind of are just like a D and then you just push it in the side and clip it on that way. I, I, guys, I do not know the name, but it's kind of like old school. This is like a vintage, I think it was described as like a vintage style. Um, and it's just, I love it. It's so different. Um, like I said, I was kind of getting to the crossbody stage where I was like, right, I want to try a different style of bag. So that's how this one came about because I love the design of that one. And then I saw it as this style and I was like, it's half off as well. So if I buy this, yes, I'm still paying £99, but I'm getting two bags instead of one. So that's how I justified it. <laughs> so, um, and this bag I am still using after two weeks straight. Um, I just find it brilliant. It's just so comfortable and um, it just fits the world and is just such an easy, casual, throw it on and forget about it bag. And this is the Guess Hobo shoulder bag, again in the vintage style. So it's the exact same uh, design as the last one. I will actually put these two together so you can see. And what I wanted about this is I don't have a one shoulder bag that is not structured. I'm very like Minx for All who says in her videos that she's all about structure and I just wanted to try something a bit different. I love this big wide strap. It makes it so, so comfortable and it matches the stripe on the front. There we go. Um, it makes it so comfortable and um, I just, I kind of fall in love with the slouchy look. There is so much stuff in here, but you just throw it on and forget about it. It's brilliant. It's just such a carefree bag. And I was looking the other day and I saw some spots. I wear like um, mineral foundation because I have very sensitive skin on my face. Um, and I always, I'm bad. I know I do my makeup on the bus because I am so lazy. Um, and I noticed there were like little specks of the foundation. Now, I know when I get that on clothes and I rub it off on my trousers because it is foundation still, it's not like light powder, it leaves a mark. And I was going, what am I doing? Because I started doing this and I was like, oh no, that's the foundation. And it it didn't do any damage whatsoever. I thought I would have to take cloth to it or whatever. I think it was around here. And I just brushed it off and it just seemed to do the trick. I don't know how, but it looks really great still. Um, It's been caught in the rain as well. 
I do live in Northern Ireland and it has done nothing but rain, of course. Um, so uh, yeah, it's all good. I can't see any problems. I, I have to say, like, honestly, that's why I love guests because I think every bag I have, I haven't had a problem with. Uh, I just think their quality is amazing. I know some people haven't had that experience, but I noticed that um, any kind of reviews about the guest bags were like the really old models from like years ago, way before they changed their logo and um, probably didn't have, I don't think, well, I think Guess is really popular now. Maybe it wasn't as much back in the day. I, I'm not too sure because I only got into Guess a few years ago, but I've definitely noticed that the bags are now are of great quality i've had my some of mine for three years now and i still use them and they're perfect um no stitching or anything's come apart um they pack them so well like when you get a new one everything is protected every single bit of metal it's even better um protective covering than i've seen on some michael kors ones that i've had Every single thing is covered. It is really, really good customer service um, on the uh, the way you get it in the website. Um, the shop, I haven't really, I think, but no, I did buy a jumper in the sale in the shop, uh, which had a hole in it, <laughs> but it was the last size large and it was on sale and I was saving about 20 pounds. And I think it may have been the very jumper that I tried on a couple of months ago and I decided against it because of the price and i don't know i was like hmm, maybe i made the hole i don't know but it was a tiny little hole here and i just sewed it up i couldn't be bothered so um i can't speak for the clothes but the bags i'm always very very happy with and the belfast store does not have a great selection of bags they're really really awful um they're really old styles and um they're not um they never seem to get the new kind of hipper styles in sorry just have a bit of water there um i don't know but for the bags i always go to the website and i always buy them in the seal because there is another guest bag that i've seen and it's 115 pounds and i'm because i'm so used to getting guest bags in the seal i'm like no that is so much money i am waiting till it comes to the seal like it's so much money but i spent 300 odd pound on a louis vuitton wallet but you know what i mean what will happen is I'll buy it and it'll go on sale and I'll go nuts. So I'm waiting for the sale. I think I have enough bags to keep me going for now. So here we go. Everything is all in here. I will give you a quick glance. Just take my card out here. It's really untidy, guys. So I apologize. But it is like a hobo style slouchy bag. So it does have everything kind of fall into the middle when you open it. And I'll give you just a quick, there's still loads of room. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so good for work. Yes, pocket on the back. I've got my work pass in there so I don't have to fiddle around with it. Because it isn't a structured bag, I, it is kind of like sometimes hard to kind of locate what you're looking for. Uh, but that doesn't bother me. Um, the fact that you can just grab and go and throw all your things in here. So like I said, I have got a lot more room even um, when... All of this is taken out. Uh, my Kate Spade wallet, I got her out about a month ago. I just wanted a pop colour so bad and it's such a beautiful wallet and it is still keeping up really well and I just love that. The hearts and stars, you know, guys, I'm a sucker for. can even get my umbrella in here, which has been broken for so long. The poles come apart and I have to put them back in. So I'm going around to getting a new one. Uh, my guest card holder, I love this. I think I bought this in the January seal last year. So this is about a year old. I love this. It's so structured, really, really structured. Um, nothing has fallen out of that. I have no problem in finding a place for the car mix. Just have a problem finding it in a bag like this. I'm even, even carrying a little mini perfume. This is Enchantment from Next. Um, mm, such a weird smell to like musky and flowery just one just i wanted a wee travel one uh so there you go uh headphones uh charging cable usb uh car keys coin purse this is kind of what is annoying my house keys are downstairs but then i have like three louis vuitton things looking for these um when you've got a slushy bag like this because they all look the same they're all the same print can be annoying 
Uh, especially this and then finding the house keys which is my six ring key holder because they look so similar but uh, i have so many loyalty cards i got my old uh because the accessorized one the rainbow kind of one i showed you oh that's quite old now it's in a past video uh but it did go it did go to card holder heaven it was so beaten up it was cheap it was only about five pounds but all the color was starting to come off so i went back to my old uh let's say machino fendi monster replica card holder from aliexpress years ago probably only about five pounds it's a great wee card holder so that's the middle section all empty nothing in the sides and then all the normal stuff in the zip compartment and i won't go through it all just uh, there's lipsticks compact mirror chewing gum and uh my e-cig juice i am still using the e-cigarette bad i know uh, and like i said the back pocket is just perfect i don't have to fiddle about when i get to the door in work i can just uh, clock in with my pass and i know exactly where it is so i love this style uh, i didn't know if this kind of style would be for me because it's not a very structured bag um and i was so into crossbodies recently i was like one shoulder bag or, or sorry it's a, a bag you wear on one shoulder um that have caused me problems in the past especially with totes because they get very heavy this one is a nice wide fabric strap and i have i can't believe all the things i'm carrying and i have had no problem whatsoever so this one is going to be a hard one for me to move out of i have to say um but being a handbag addict i do need to rotate more often because then i start to go a little bit mad drives me crazy but uh yeah i just love these i'm so glad that i gave something like this a chance because it's definitely a perfect bag for work as is this little guy and i just think it's lo i just love something there's something about this style the fact that it's gray and black gunmetal hardware the kind of mon monogram style with the lovely big guess 4g's logo and it being on sale oh and as well with the shoulder bag it also has the protective base there with the four feet, which I love as well. Very well thought out design. You can also unclip these. Um, I don't know why you'd want to. You could add another strap, make it, make it a longer crossbody maybe. Um, but I just like the fact that they've added that for a wee bit of versatility as well. So there's the strap. Some little grommets there. And yeah, love it, love it, love it. So guys, uh, that's everything. Oh, of course, they came with the guess dust bag both of them so yes guys like i said i do have my eye on a guess handbag it's called the asher um if i find a picture i will insert it now for you yep so that one um i just anything with kind of like the writing on it um that's why i love my guess uh oh is it this I need I'm trying to remember the names of them. The one I use for Paris, the white one with the guess writing across it. I just love anything that has kind of like writing on it. Um, so I really like that one, but I will wait because there will inevitably be a sale and it'll be money off and I'll kick myself for not waiting. The boots, my lovely guest boots are now on sale. I could have saved about 30, 40 pounds. Um, so it's always annoying when you bought something at full price and then you see it on sale. So I'm trying and of course i don't need a new bag anytime soon um i will have to definitely go through this and pick some ones to sell my rule i told you i'd buy one one has to go i think i've bought four recently over maybe the last few months and i haven't sold one so that's bad um so i'm obviously not using uh some bags and i have to um try and force myself to admit which ones I'm not using and uh, if I ever get around to doing that I will let you know uh, so but I don't even want to think about that that's too sad um, so yes guys that's it um, I do have one little small purchase I did make from TK Maxx yesterday I just saw it when I was looking for a completely different bag um, and um, it was £35 and it's really different and unique so I will save that for another video so um, I just want to show you this was all around Christmas and New Year that I got these bags and because they're the same design I thought I would share them in one video for you so uh, any questions please do drop me uh, a comment below I will get back to you like I said they both are on the guest website and they're still half price if you guys are interested it's the guest hobo shoulder bag and the other one is the guest box satchel 
and they both are in the dark gray color uh, i think you can get um red and white and then blue and white um but you don't get the gunmetal hardware so i just love that color combination i think it's gorgeous and um, so thank you very much for watching guys i really appreciate it i will come back to you soon with that new purchase video but until then i will see you in the next one Mwah. bye guys